Let's look at pedaling on a chord progression like this. C, G7, A minor, and then back to C. Okay, so C contains a G. It's the fifth of C. G7, of course, contains a G because it's the root. But even A minor contains a G. It's actually the seventh. It's the minor seventh of our A minor chord. And then we're back to C, where it's the fifth again. So we can do this. We can play a C major 7 arpeggio. Then we can play a G7 arpeggio. We can play an A minor arpeggio. And then we can play a C again. Now, the unique thing about that is that we are not always starting on the root. We play the root when we're playing the G7 but we're not playing the root when we are playing the arpeggio for the C or the A minor chord. We're pedaling. This G is where we're grounding each measure of our music. So let me play that through for you and you can hear it. And it's kind of a cool effect because pedaling on that G creates a little more interest. And it's a good example of something you can really only do with arpeggios. So we're still arpeggiating each chord. We're still building our bass lines from these arpeggios. It's just that we're not always having to start on the root note of the chord. And that kind of liberates us to come up with more interesting ideas.